Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about setting an alarm on your Windows 11 computer to notify you of actions that you want to take at a specified time. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and search for alarm. Best match, you come back with clock. Now, if you're running on Windows 10, it may say alarm in clock or alarms in clock. If you search for either alarm or clock, it should come up as the best match here. Go ahead and open that up. It looks like if you haven't opened up in a while, it may need to perform an initial update. So just give that a moment. So now at this point, you have different options here as you would with a normal stopwatch, sort of. You have timer options here. You can actually go ahead and set different preset timer intervals, like one minute, three minute, and so forth by selecting save. You can go ahead and actually run that pretty easily. Now you do want to make sure your system audio is turned on in order to actually hear the alarm going off. So once you've addressed the timer, now the second option here is the alarm. So if you want to toggle that to the on position by clicking inside this oval here, you can go ahead and adjust the different settings in here. So you can have it set to a custom message by selecting inside the box in there. You could type in any message you want, and you can adjust what time by either typing it in manually in here, or use the up and down arrows like you would a normal clock in order to change the time. You can select which audio sound you want to notify you of the alarm, and you can click the little play icon next to it to go ahead and sample that audio. And you can adjust if you want to snooze the alarm, how many minutes you want to allow it to reappear before you actually close out of it. And you also can select what days of the week you want the alarm to go off. And I do want to note, as it says at the bottom of the screen here, that the alarms will only sound when your computer is awake. So pretty straightforward process on that. We can go ahead and actually save this here, right? Like that, not too bad. If you want to turn it off without removing this notification or alarm, you could just toggle the off position to make it inactive. You could turn it back on and you can adjust it just by clicking inside of it like we did before. And you can adjust the alarm settings through here pretty easily. So I'm actually going to go ahead and actually create an alarm here for the demonstration of this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and just save that there and it should go off in not too much time. Shouldn't be very long, so we just give it a couple seconds here. It should set off an alarm in a couple seconds. And you can see the clock has now appeared. It tells us our message and what time it is on our computer. It's set for. And you can snooze that alarm for, like I said, 10 minutes is the default. That's all we selected. And you can select other intervals in there as well. Or you can just dismiss it so it won't reappear after 5 or 10 minutes, whatever that interval may have otherwise been in there. So pretty straightforward process, guys, and as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.